He's happy I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> what are we making today, Kev? We're gonna make another ish dish that's right in between. <laughs> it's like in between the original. It's a southern dish. It's very similar to like a Cajun jambalaya, but it's called perlu. I just learned about it recently and I'm like, I've just gotta make this. So yeah, I'm gonna try my best to make a perlu ish recipe for weeknight wonder. If you're wondering what to make for dinner, but you're short on energy and time, this is weeknight wonder. To make a delicious perlu ish, you'll need brown rice, bay leaves, chicken broth, shrimp, cooked rotisserie chicken, canned tomatoes, onion, garlic, bell pepper, celery, and carrot. First thing we're gonna do is prep our ingredients. Very similar ingredients to jambalaya. So we'll chop up some celery, onion, bell pepper, garlic, and a little sweetness with some carrot. Next, we're gonna fire up a big pot on medium high heat. Once it's nice and hot, we're gonna add in a little bit of olive oil. In go the veggies. Add a pinch of sea salt and pepper. Continue cooking for about six to eight minutes until the veggies are softened and the onions turn brown and translucent. Next, remove the skin from some cooked rotisserie chicken. Chop up the meat, but save the bones. This is my trick and alternative to adding smoky bacon. All right, this is perfect just the way that I want it. Moving on now, we're gonna add in some personality. This is some smoked paprika. I'm gonna boost the heat just a bit and I'm gonna add in our fire roasted tomatoes. Stir it up, deglaze the bottom, and as it thickens up and turns almost into a paste, that's when we're gonna add in the grains. Now we add in our wild rice and just do a quick mix of the rice. Just make sure every piece of grain is covered. Then in goes the chicken and also in goes the shrimp. Fold everything together, beautiful. Next we're gonna add in our broth so we can cook this. Look at all the colors. Bring this to a simmer, and then we're gonna add in some bay leaves for some extra flavor. Add in the chicken bones from the rotisserie chicken. Add a pinch of sea salt, some black pepper. Cook for about 40 minutes or until all the liquid has been absorbed by the rice and it's cooked to your liking. While that's cooking, make a side salad by chopping up and thinly slicing some fennel and mix it up with some spinach and arugula. I brought it all together with my go-to mustard vinaigrette. Yeah. Doesn't it smell like amazing? Top it off with some fresh parsley and voila. Our wild grain shrimp and chicken perlu-ish meal is complete. Just looking outside on day like today, let's, let's actually take this outside. This is our first taste of fall here in Dallas. Beautiful perlu. This is, oh, it's so good. And it's not heavy at all. It's heavy on flavor. I love the way that um, wild grains taste as well. Oh my God, it's raining. This is a much better idea in our heads. Let's go back inside. I don't know how they got pneumonia. <laughs> Still tastes wonderful, man. You gotta taste this. What do you think? It's raining outside. Feeling like fall a little bit in Texas. Mm-hmm. Fall vibes all over it. Really? I think so too. It, underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> this is an amazing weeknight wonder meal that you can enjoy all week long for your meal prep as well. Until next time, keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Boom! Bye y'all.